A home invasion turned high-speed chase came to a deadly end in Wayne Township. I was in shock. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's definitely not something you want to come home and see. <laughs> when Brandon Peck arrived at his house following an appointment, he realized something wasn't right. I drove down my driveway, saw my dog outside, which he's locked in the house, so that's kind of odd. Walked up to the door, the door was ajar, so I opened the door and I pretty much saw my entire living room trashed. That's when he went outside and called 911. No sooner did I dial 911, the suspects pulled out around the back of my house and were headed out the driveway. State police soon spotted the suspect's 2003 Mazda and a police chase ensued. According to police, the car was traveling up to 100 miles per hour when it turned right onto Stewart Road. The driver then lost control, went airborne, and crashed into a tree. Four men were killed instantly. Another male who was ejected from the vehicle was taken to UPMC Hammett with serious injuries. The high-speed chase came to an end in this wooded area off of Stewart Road. The force of the crash toppled over a couple of trees, causing a lot of destruction to the area. Police recovered a number of stolen items and three revolvers from the wreckage. Despite being targeted, Peck says he feels bad for the men that were killed. I'm sorry for the loss of these people. I, do. I don't wish any. I, I feel bad for them too. This is Gully TV. This is a special edition. I happen to know the driver personally, Ranfis Perez. I used to play basketball with him. I know his brother too, they were big time athletes going up. I don't know what he was going through. Um, the passengers in the car was his sons, two of his sons, that's what I'm told, two of his sons. And um, I guess they was out there hitting licks or whatever out there in the suburbs and shit. Ended up putting 5-0 in a high speed chase and he wiped out and killed everybody in the whip. Um, I wish he would have just pulled over and ate that one. Burglary, we don't care a whole lot of a whole lot of time. I mean, not no time for you to hold court in the streets like that. But like I said, I don't know what homie was going through. Um, just a picture of him. You seeing footage of the wreckage? It's just an unfortunate situation, man. Especially being that he had his kids in the car with him, and I don't know what he was, he was tripping going on, like, taking the sons on licks with him or whatever, but. Only the real can relate to the shit a hungry man to try. I don't know what he was going through, what he had to do to pay his bills and all of that. This just happened to happen in the same, you know, hometown, the same city that Gully TV is based out of, Erie, Pennsylvania. Rest in peace to the homie Ranfish. Um, God bless your brother Ace, Ace and Deuce, that's their names around the way. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Real Gully TV. <sighs> Man, smoke one for you too, homeboy. One.